Welcome to A Poor Millionaire. Today, we're going to talk about my future plan for a future yacht. Uh, what kind of yacht do you think I want to get, Kate? Cat? I called you Kate. Oh. It's all right. Well, what's your name again? My name is Cat. All right. Um, a solar yacht? A solar yacht? Why would I want a solar yacht? I want a solar yacht because I want something cool and futuristic. Plus, I think it's the future. I think it's a disruptive technology. Um, and uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Have you seen anything about these solar yachts? Um, I've seen a little bit. I've watched a couple of videos over them. They seem to be a little bit more... Um Eco-friendly. Eco-friendly. You know, they run off battery power, so I think that's really neat. And it's not dumping fumes everywhere. Yeah, they don't smell bad. They don't smell like diesel fuel. They don't make a lot of noise. Uh, plus, the thing of being able to just sail anywhere in the world, I think that's a cool feature. Uh, not learn, not having to learn how to sail. I think sailing's really super cool. I'll probably learn how to do that as well. I'll still probably want to go sailing or charter a boat and go sailing. I think sailing's super cool, but I think solar is the future i think that is definitely the future that's one reason why i want one um it's like my long-term major goal because uh, the, the boat i want is probably like a silent 80 uh which we're gonna have up on the screen it's uh 80 foot catamaran powered by electric engines with solar panels solar freaking panels which is super cool and electric motor so that's awesome uh, you've seen pictures of this boat what do you think of this boat I think it's beautiful. Um, I really do like the catamaran style on it. I like, um, I did see that it has the boat storage underneath, so I thought that was really cool. Um, I like the layout. I like the way that it has enough room to accommodate anybody that you're taking. Um, we also, the deck, the way that it's positioned and built with the upper deck um, seems to be a little bit more eco-friendly as well, so they took the design style into their mission essentially yeah making it everything's efficient everything's designed efficient the efficiency of a catamaran is just you can't beat it uh, it's the most efficient way to move through the water it's the most efficient way to have the most amount of space um, the most efficient way to be comfortable on the ocean um, it's just like the perfect boat i mean uh, it's like they've tried the monohull they've tried the catamaran they tried the trimaran uh, but basically everybody comes back to the catamaran so i think the future is going to be cat solar catamarans is you're going to see them everywhere and one of the i mean there's a plus side and a minus side of that i think because there's they're going to become so everywhere it's so easy for to just drive a there's no learning curve for a solar powered catamaran so any idiot can walk on board point it in direction on the nav press a button and basically it's going to go there and obviously you got to make sure you look out the window and don't run into anything but other than that it's plug and play um anyone can do it which means that you're going to see lots and lots of people who have never been doing boating before buy these solar powered boats and get themselves into trouble because they don't know what they're doing but uh, the fun part of that, though, is, is it is easier to use. And as for older people, it'd be a lot easier. Uh, when you're uh, older, you can't raise the sails or you have problems. Plus the, the, the danger of being on deck when the wind's high and the, the ocean's wavy. Uh, be much better to be down below uh, or in the captain's chair uh, inside in the, in, when it's nice and warm or nice and cold if it's hot outside. Uh, just a much easier, much nicer way to travel around the world. Um, so that's one reason why I want one. Um, plus, I think the cost, the overall cost of ownership is going to be super low. If if uh, if some millionaire decided to invite you and your friends out, do you think you'd like fly out and go out on a solar powered uh, catamaran? Oh, I definitely would. Let's go for three months. Three <laughs> months. Exactly. Yeah, totally. So uh, fly out uh, you and your friends to the catamaran and let's uh, in the Bahamas. That's the other thing is I really want to move my boat around the world. So that way, you know, when I call up uh, all my friends and I say, hey, uh, do you want to go to the Bahamas? And they'll be like, oh, we were to the Bahamas last week. And then, then you can just move it to uh, move it to Greece and be like, hey, you want to go to Greece? And they'll be like, oh, I haven't been to Greece. Mm -hmm. So then you can fly them in and you're on, you're on a yacht in the middle of Greece and it's super cheap. That's one of the great things about uh, solar powered yachts is the maintenance is super low. Uh, so it's going to you don't have to pay for the fuel. Um, you're not going to pay for the salt for re redoing the solar, the uh, the. Uh, the sails, the rigging, the ropes, all the different stuff that can rot and fail and break. That's the other thing. You could be in the middle of the ocean, your sails break uh, because the wind came up and just knocked them down um, or they tear. Um, you're going to be uh, stranded. Uh, well, you're going to actually switch over to your gasoline engines. But still, that's all that maintenance of having gas. It's so many systems to go wrong on a normal sailboat because a normal sailboat, you've got your sails, 
you've got your engines, you've got your generator, and you still have batteries, and you still have solar panels. This eliminates a lot of that. It eliminates the sails, it eliminates the gasoline engines, and now all you have is motor engines, you have your batteries, which you already have, and more solar panels than you had before. And this makes it super cool because you don't have to run your generator. Um, they were actually had a yacht show where the guys were out on the solar yacht, the 55, and they hadn't even plugged it in, and they weren't running a generator, and they didn't have to plug in. They could just run the entire boat with it, with uh, air conditioning, the refrigerators, uh, the propulsion, everything, without ever plugging in, without ever you turning on a generator. So literally a silent yacht, just like the name implies, right? That'd be pretty cool, right? Oh, yeah. Would you say, even though it's more of an investment in the beginning, based off of everything that you just said, maintenance and everything like that, I, more the cost, cost you know effective? oh yeah definitely uh i think the cost is going to be pretty close to being the same because a lot of times these engines these gasoline diesel engines they're like 20 15 to twenty thousand dollars a piece so uh, an electric engine is going to cost you like ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars the most expensive part's probably going to be your batteries and the cost of batteries is going to do nothing but go down and increase in efficiency so that's one of the things i'm looking at is i'm not going to buy it in the next two years i'm looking at probably the next three to four years five or six years at the most and when I buy mine, by then, the solar panels will be twice as effective um, and the batteries will last twice as long and hold their charge. Uh, just like Tesla, every time Tesla comes out, the mileage increases. So this is, like they said, the Tesla of the seas. Mm. Wouldn't it be cool to own a Tesla of the sea? It would be really cool. That's, that's, it sounds like cream. It sounds like something, Tesla of the sea. It sounds like a, a, a movie or something. Uh, what, do you, what, what, what other things do you like about this, this boat that we're looking at? I definitely like, I'm more aesthetically pleased with it. Um, I definitely love that in the cabin area, you've got full 360 view of everything that's going on around the boat. Lot, cat, lot of catamarans, the visibility is really easy to do. You can put the windows all the way around um, and the way they've designed these silent yacht uh, boats is they have a complete 360 degrees of view so you can see everything without anything obstructing your view and that's all the passengers can see it every like the captain and all the passengers are all on the same deck um, you can all see out all the windows uh, it's great for safety it's great for comfort it's great for the captain being involved while someone's in the kitchen cooking or if the captain wants to go cook um, and or you know and the 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 uh, the passengers want to drive the boat they can go drive while he cooks there's lots of different options and on the cool thing about this 80 uh, catamaran and this is just cool features is it actually it's such a big boat that you can actually park a uh, dinghy inside of it which is super cool because then you don't have that ugly dinghy hanging out and then you can have the super sexy uh, back end where there's no there's nothing out there and it just looks like a super high-end super luxury yacht where the lines are nice and clean you can have the underwater lights and it can be light up and just look absolutely amazing um pretty cool huh yeah this is a nice boat yeah and what do you think you think this is gonna you think this is a dis disruption in the market i definitely do i think this will be um a disruptive technology because what's gonna happen with it is i mean look at everything that's going on with climate you know people are trying to be more efficient lately so this is going to take off eventually so a greener technology mm -hmm. um plus just ease of use it, it's, that's that's, so easy. that's one of the things it's about so simple i could do it <laughs> that's the thing that's the thing about tesla a lot of people buy tesla cars because they buy them because they're green but then they realize electric cars are are so different it's like a whole new paradigm change in how you do things because we're so used to jumping in a car starting an engine and then hearing that vibration that loudness of the engine smelling that smoke we're just used to all these things we don't even we take for granted we just assume when we drive a car it's got to smell bad it's got to vibrate uh, we got to go and touch the actual fuel and load it up and the smelly gasoline we get it on our clothes we actually have to go to the gas station it's the same thing with a with a yacht where you have to go and fill it up with diesel fuel you're gonna do the same thing you're you're plugging in that diesel fuel you're getting all yucky you're all that huge bill that huge bill whereas on a a tesla car you just jump in it's already been charging all night you don't even have to go to the gas station you can avoid the gas station gas stations are ugly dirty smelly uh filthy and then you've got to get out of your car you're wasting you're wasting like 15 to 20 minutes at a gas station whereas in a electric car you just jump in and drive to your destination you go straight to where you want to be and you're done and so it changes how you do things and the same thing with this yacht whereas you don't have, that's the thing you know a lot of times when you're on a boat and you're actually traveling long distances, you actually have to go from one fuel port to the next. You have to go straight to that fuel port. Whereas the silent yacht, 
If it's sunny, you don't have to go to the fuel port. You can just go to wherever your destination is, sit there while the sun anchor, and then it's charging up the batteries and getting you ready to go for your next destination. Wow, so it's gonna, it cuts down on travel costs as well, or not travel costs, but travel time as well. Travel time, and then like I, like I mentioned before, when you're sailing a boat, a lot of times you have to sail with the wind. Mm -hmm. So you might have to sail off of the straight line to get your wind so you can go back towards your actual destination. So you're not actually going in a straight line, whereas a solar powered boat, you could just go straight to your destination. Obviously, there's lots of complications here. Mm -hmm. Like uh, driving, uh, obviously the sun's not shining, you're gonna run into some issues. Uh, if you've got no sun for a week and it's cloudy for a week, uh, eventually you're gonna have to kick on the generator. But that's like the only time you're gonna use the generator. That's that's the neat thing is most of the time you're not gonna use the generator. The most of the time the batteries will will run the entire boat without ever turning on the generator, which is really super cool, which makes it nice, a silent, beautiful way to be on the ocean without any noise, right? Yeah, because I mean, I'm there to hang out. I'm there to listen to the waves. Exactly. I get if, to hear it now. If you could travel anywhere in the world on a silent yacht, where would you travel? Oh, take me to the Bahamas. The Bahamas. Oh, I've never been. <laughs> the Bahamas are beautiful. As long as it's not hurricane season. The Bahamas are amazing. It's like, the, and that's definitely, that's like the first place, obviously when, well, I don't know if, if they're making these overseas, I might, the first place I'd probably get it. I'll just get it wherever it is. Cause I'm not going to pay, I'm not going to pay $20,000 to ship a yacht over, over a destination when I can just fly to that destination. And that'll be my starting def de destination. So probably these are being made in Europe. So when I get mine, uh, I mean, you're just going to have to hang, you're going to have to come and meet me in Greece and we'll have to go out on, uh, in the Mediterranean and go all, go all around the, you know, Europe and go to Italy and, and all that stuff. I mean, you're just going to have to slum it in, you know, in Europe for a little while. Oh before oh, you get goodness. your dream of the Bahamas. Or, I don't know, I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, I don't know if I, I'm okay with that. Yeah, one. yeah, it's, it's gonna be rough. I don't like it's, it. Yeah, it's gonna be rough, but you know, and, and then that's that's the cool thing about, this cool thing about yachts, that's one reason why I want one. I've always wanted one, I wanted a sailboat, uh, because if you're on the ocean right now, sailboat's the way to go, but the next step, the very next step is the solar yachts, and that's why I want one. And I and, that, and like I said, I'm gonna buy it, and then I'm gonna start just moving it around the world, so that um, every time I call up my friends and I'm like, "Hey, Cat, uh, I'm in Italy. Uh, you want to come fly out and join on my yacht?" And what, what's Cat? What are you gonna say? Yeah, of course. Cat's gonna be like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Well, bring five friends, right?" I can do that. Right. Exactly. Who doesn't want to go out on a yacht? Now you guys see why I buy boats, right? Woo. Uh, pretty girls want to come hang out with you, you know, in the Mediterranean. All right, guys. Anyway, this is why I want a solar-powered yacht. Um, I know we're changing up the format here, so I like to make everything different and new so we get new viewers. Oh, we're going to announce a new winner um, of our giveaway for a $20 gift card. Let's announce that now. It's going to be somewhere around here. And the winner is whatever this name is right here. All right, make sure you contact us by email only to receive your gift card. Uh, stay tuned for our next video. We're going to keep changing up the format, and I'm just going to keep changing. We're going to have Cat or Katie or some other random person. I'm just gonna grab people <laughs> off the street and throw them in the chair and ask them if they wanna go, you know, uh, go to exotic places with me on fancy yachts and see if they say yes. You I didn't know? even know him before this. Yeah, I know. I was just walking around the store. Yeah, just walking around. It's like, hey, I'm just gonna pick up a random person and put them in a podcast. But we'll, we'll work it out. We're going to get better and things will be fun. Uh, so stay tuned to our next video. Uh, obviously, we'll probably get that out in the next two days or so. But thanks for thanks for tuning in. Bye. Hey, guys. Go check out our newest channel called Disruptive Tech, where if you like, comment, and subscribe, you will be entered into a $20 gift card giveaway. Again, our channel name is going to be Disruptive Tech. You'll find me in the newest video. So go check it out. Like, comment, subscribe, and get into Disruptive Tech's brand new first time giveaway.